to my channel. So today I'm doing a look that I meant to do last year, but just never got to. And I'm kind of glad I did it because I did it much better this year than I would have executed it last year. So this is based off a face chart that I will leave right here. Uh, that is like a half melted kind of wax face. Uh, and then I just added a costume to it. And today's costume is brought to you by True Corset. Uh, they asked me if I would wear one of their corsets and post about it on Instagram and model it and such. Uh, so that is what I'm doing today. If you guys want to see the photos, you can check it out over there. But let me just tell you, this is the only corset I have ever had that has actually taken inches off my waist. And I measured it. This took three and a half inches off my waist on the first wear, which is amazing. So if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe. Check out my ones from yesterday and the day before. And let's get started. So at this point, you probably know what I'm doing here. I am just priming my lids with a little bit of concealer. You can use whatever base you like, but I have concealer on hand. Uh, so now I'm going in with this red shadow and I am taking a pencil brush and just kind of sketching out where I want everything. So just right above the crease, sort of winging it out because I want this side of my face to look very lifted and bright because the other side is obviously supposed to look droopy and melting. So we wanna wing that out a little bit and then just blend our lives away with this shadow. Uh, this is a ColourPop shadow, but you can use, of course, anything that you want. And you can do this look with all different colors. I just chose to go with kind of yellow and orange because I thought they looked more like candle wax. Um, and I've used a lot of blue and green lately, so I wanted to change it up. So now I'm going in with this gold glittery uh, brown shadow like the reflex in it are kind of gold and I'm just adding that to my lid uh, with my finger and then again blending it out this is a color pop shadow too I believe this one is called white rabbit so then I just threw on a quick wing again totally optional and some mascara this side of the face you can really do whatever you want with it make it really pretty make it really dark and smoky whatever you like. Uh, so now just going in with my foundation and a blending brush. We are only going to put foundation on half our face. I personally don't put foundation under my water activated paints, but if you want to, that is totally cool. It still works. Um, I just don't usually have any issues with staining unless I'm using red. So I am not uh, putting down a base layer. So now I'm just taking this metallic gray shade and smoking out underneath my eyes. I also threw concealer on, but my camera stopped recording while I was doing my concealer. Um, so now is time to contour and I'm doing a pretty high and sharp contour. I'm going up very high on my cheekbone and then bringing it down to give a really kind of carved out look again, just to make that contrast between the two sides even more so. Uh, and then going in under my jaw and then I did do a little bit on my forehead too. Now if you're gonna wear a wig with bangs for any reason, uh, you don't have to contour your forehead but I knew I was gonna be wearing a lace front so I wanted to have that in there and then I just blended it out with my foundation brush. And now, no your eyes do not deceive you and it is not 2014 but I am using MAC Mineral Eyes Skin Finished in Soft and Gentle for my highlight today. And then I went in with Copenhagen pencil from NYX and just lined half of my lips with red. And then I used Retro from MAC as my lipstick. And again, I only did half my lips because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with the other side or how I wanted them to look. So I just kind of left the other side bare. So I had a nice blank canvas. Uh, and then I did my brows real quick with a little bit of brow gel. Again, do your brows however you like. I just threw this on because I didn't have a shade I wanted. So now I am sketching out the other eye with my pencil brush and same red shadow we used in the crease before. Um, and everything is going on a downward angle and a very drawn out and exaggerated. Now some of this did get covered up by the face paint, but I drew it back in later. But just so you can see the vision, we want everything to look like it's melting down the face. So instead of winging out the edge, I brought it down toward my cheek. Same with the brown shadow on the lid. I brought it out and down, just like very curvy, very kind of um, Salvador Dali 
with the way you want everything to look. Just very droopy, melting, you know, waxy, because that's what we're going for. This kind of house of wax, melting, wax figure sort of business. So now, going in with my Snazz Roof Water Activated Face Paint, I used yellow today, but again, use whatever colors you like. You can make this super psychedelic with like some neons and all kinds of goodness like that. I think that would be super cool. If someone does that, let me know, because I would love to see it. Uh, and I just kind of made my line of like demarcation of where I was going to stop everything, which just butts up against my foundation. And if you are just getting into face paint, I would say these brushes are super, super good and I highly recommend them because uh, they are super cheap and very easy to wash and reuse. So yeah, I just did a lot of filling in here. You'll kind of see that I drew like this contour line. I went back and ended up filling that in anyway. So don't worry so much about that. Just worry about getting your base layer of paint down. So whatever color you want to use most of, just paint your whole face with that. So now we're just going to exaggerate that sort of melting shadow shape. I brought it down from the inner corner of my eye just to look like it's kind of running down my face a little bit alongside of my nose. I did go a little bit big here, so I think I did make it smaller later on. But again, this look is really trial and error and trusting the process of what I wanted and going back to the picture and just looking at the reference to try and figure out is this where this should be? Is this where that should be? Should I highlight or shade here? Um, so yeah, just trust the process with this. But I went in with my lip liner and went from my lips and kind of added these drips and drops. So it looks like the lipstick is just melting down our lips, which I thought ended up looking really good and super fun. And right about here, you will see me realize that this looks like ketchup and mustard the way I was doing it. And it took all of my mental fortitude not to say, screw this, I am restarting because I came close about three times during this look. But So now this is where things start to get tricky and a little more difficult if you are not super artistic. Um, and I would not say that I'm very artistic. Like I am not good with shading and light sourcing and all of that stuff. Um, or making like nice clean shapes. So trust your process here. This is all just practice, but it is time to start adding our layers of wax. So we want it to look like this wax is darker or drying. So that's why I went with orange. Um, looking back, if I had the colors, I think I would definitely use like a mustard to do this first to create all that shading and then kind of build on top. Uh, but I went a different route. I am not a pro. I just do this for fun. So this is just, you know, practice and playing around. Uh, but I did do this along the contour of my face so that it would kind of naturally contour everything and be coming down. So again, this is just Snazzaru water activated paint and I'm just putting on layers and layers of this stuff. So just kind of looking where I think a natural flow would kind of happen coming down from my cheekbone, coming down from, you know, under the contours of your face, basically more going off of my bone structure than the way my face looks. So at the last minute, when I was ready to wipe this all off, I decided I was just going to take this brush that had some orange shadow left over on it from another look and start shading under all of the drips that I did. And this is where I kind of saw it it coming together. So I just went under everything and started shading with this orange. Um, and this took a while, but it did make me want to keep going. So I just added more layers on my forehead to kind of bring it together and get a more, you know, clear vision of how it went. But basically at this point, it's just adding lines and shading underneath them so that it gives that nice shadowy drip. So I didn't want to forget the under eye here. I just went in with a little gray shadow 
and smoked it all out just a little bit further uh, down than I did on the other eye so that it looks very melty as well. Uh, and then I went back in with a little bit of yellow just to clean up some areas and add a little bit of highlight. So I thought this looked a little bit off, um, just the way that it ended on the face. So I wanted to bring all that running wax down my neck with just three big kind of pools of it. And then of course shadowed underneath with a little bit of brown. And I actually ended up using some of that brown in the more hollowed out areas where I wanted it to really look dark and shadowed in. And I think this is where the look really came together once I got underneath some of these you know, big contours like right there. I was like, yes, that is gorgeous. And then right there, I think it looked really good after I did all that. Uh, and then I just added some little like semicircles to make it look like more wax would be dripping, like the process was still going. And that was basically it. So this is the finished look after a lot of shading, blending and highlighting. Um, this was very much a trust the process kind of look. Uh, but my wig I got off of a brand on Instagram. It's an Amazon wig, but I really love it. I've worn this quite a bit, um, but I will leave the link for you guys down below. Hat is from Forever 21. Shirt is from Shein. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video.